Howdy, my name is Vashalos, and thanks for tuning in today to my ramble, uh, overview, uh, loose build plans for Path of Exile's upcoming league, Necropolis, patch 3.24. I'm super excited, I hope you guys are too. And what is the build? The build is Impale Double Strike Champion. That's right. Um, I want to go Double Strike of Impaling. And then in the boots, we're going to have Vol Double Strike with some, I think it's Elder Influence boots. Uh, I'll be ironing this out for you later on in a complete build guide. But I'm near confident that it's Elder boots that have some gym modifiers that are valuable to Vol Double Strike and then being socketed there. I'm going to go over um, the few nerfs that occurred from patch notes yesterday. It's really only one and everything else is completely the same. So that's nice. This is also, I guess, a variation of another popular league starter, which is Corrupting Blood. Uh, or sorry, what is it? Corrupting Fever Champion? There we go. I, I mixed that up with the debuff. But yeah, this is incredibly similar to that. But instead of going um, some range skills and then dot effect, we're just going to be focusing on the adrenaline buff that Corrupting Fever provides us. It gives us some physical damage, right? That's nice, but really we want the attack speed just to help us get through the campaign as fast as possible. I am going to talk about that nerf real quick before I forget about it. So, this is one of my characters I've uh, been testing recently. I've got two tests. Um, this is one that's further along, and then the second one is the one that I think is um, more closely representative as to what I'm going to be doing uh, on the 29th. So, that nerf. It's Call to Arms. We got nerfed. In my opinion, it is a nerf. We are having a little bit of our mana cost raised for Warcry on top of uh, socket pressure raising. Is it massive? It's really not. It's not a huge deal, guys. Um, and I think it's better that they attempt to solve this problem rather than like, I, I was hearing Mark talk about it in the interview with Ziggy D, and I can't say that I don't appreciate that they've identified a problem, and they're aware that the solution they have presented to us this patch isn't perfect, but they're still going to continue and try to solve it. Um, I, I think that's admirable, and it's it, it's the, the clarity is something that I appreciate more than anything. So, um, cheers to, to GGG on talking about that one and cheers to Ziggy D for asking the question at all um, so you know we're gonna be fitting in call to arms the gym I don't have it in the skills right now but just know that whenever the patch goes live we will not be able to have enduring cry on our left mouse button anymore and we will just have it automated for us via call to arms the gym so that's the nerf that's that's it everything else um, I'm gonna start talking about the passive trees. So I have a couple of them here for you. One, two, three. As you can see, it's just a nice little path I've set out for you as to what you should prioritize while you're getting to your first ascendancy. And then I have a much larger um, passive tree that shows you everything that you care about from that point on. Now, there will be some dexterity concerns. You may not be able to reach all the way up towards Disemboweling and Vanquisher before you need some dexterity over by, let's say, Weathered Hunter, or maybe you just want to pick up Thick Skin and some Suppression Chance before you get Weathered Hunter. It's, it's really up to you and what you feel is you need through the campaign until you reach maps, whereas Suppression probably becomes a much greater importance. And um, Resistances are also... A great highlight of the way I've set this character up. Um, you will barely need any as you play through because we're going to be going Alira. We help Alira. She gives us some free critical strike multiplier. She gives us five mana per second, as well as um, the resistances are, are very nice. Did I already say the resistances are, are critical strike multi? Anyways, I think I've all, I mentioned all of the benefits of Alira already. Yeah, they're right there. Anyways, I've been hovering it the whole time. And you can respect that later if you want, but Critical Strike Multiplier is going to be extremely important to us. And in the game, you don't have to invest this much, but if you really enjoy the, the playstyle and the character and you want to see how far you can take it, a massive ring, Thread of Hope, is going to let you save a lot of passive points and, and reorganize your pathing. 
So consider that. I won't say this is mandatory. It 100% is not, but I just want to make you guys aware that that's something that you can do. And then while you're gearing, you're absolutely going to want to pick up a brutal restraint of Nasima so that you can use that for second sight. It will blind you, so you need more accuracy. That's why I've planned for Weathered Hunter eventually. And then 25% more critical strike chance while blinded is very nice for all of the other critical strike multiplier we're picking up in other spots, as well as um, from our gear, hopefully. So that really does it for the passive tree plans. Um, I haven't ironed this out all the way towards, say, like pinnacle bosses. Um, I'm going to see how it feels as I go. This is going to be an experiment. And I just want to play melee. Is that so much to ask? I just want to play melee. Come on! So, yeah. I hope you guys are excited as I am. I have some skills here laid out. There's also a drop down. This is an import skill list after I completed the campaign. I have some items. There is the default with a blank canvas if you wanted to play around. Then there is the import with, again, the character items that I did on my playthrough. And then there's the goal. Really, the only goal I've set for this character is Paradoxica and then the Savior. That's what I want to do. Double Strike of Impaling, Melee, and then I want to get these two unique items and we'll go from there. So, let's go over Double Strike of Impaling real quick. Double Strike of Impaling is a melee attack that performs two fast attacks, and then it has a chance to impale on hit. Enemies killed by this skill deal its stored impale damage to nearby enemies as reflected damage. That's probably going to help with AoE, but Impale itself is a rather powerful mechanic. I haven't ever really made a character that utilizes Impale effectively. I've probably tried it before, but I don't think I've really like dedicated a character to doing that. So, why not? I'm going to give it a try. I hope it's fun. You should tell me about your League Starters in the comments. And let me know if you have any ideas. I'd love to hear them. Any unique items you think I could benefit from trying out during the campaign or um, you know, tips and tricks to really shoot my melee DPS to the moon. I really don't want to use Abyssus, but I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I stream every single day. I hope to see you over on Twitch sometime. Um, I don't only play Path of Exile. I'll talk to you about any video game that you're interested in as there's a big chance I'm probably interested in it too. So, yeah, join the Discord sometimes. I'm going to leave that link down below. It's good for seven days. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you in Ray class. Stay safe, Exiles. Peace out. Stop.